open up a new part in inches in Inventor. I'm going to start by showing the visibility of all of our planes here. You could right click a single plane and click visibility to make sure that it pops up. See how the icon changes to orange. You can select multiple planes by holding shift and clicking the first and last. We'll click visibility on. Now when I shift my view, you can see all of my planes are always visible. We're going to draw a 2D sketch on the XZ plane. And if you'd like to orient your art so that the X and Y and Z is correct, if you've moved around, make sure you do that. You can do that with the view cube pretty easily. On this plane, we're going to sketch a two point rectangle and we'll fill it the corners. The fillet is going to be a quarter inch. So we can double click and change our dimension here. The length of our part is going to be three inches. That will actually be from this point to this point. And the width of our part is two. That looks like it fully defines. I'm going to take this dimension here and make sure it's this dimension over two. And I'll do the same with the small dimension I made earlier. I'll make sure it's D4 or this dimension over two. Now I've centered my part appropriately. And those two dimensions are parametric. They relate to my part. The last thing I'm going to do is create quarter inch holes on center of these fillets. So I will type in the dimension here. And then I'm going to just draw this. This. And to make this simple, I'll select this circle, this circle, this circle, and this circle. And I'm going to make them all equal. Once we're done, we can finish our sketch. And we're going to extrude it in the positive direction 0.75 inches. For the profile, make sure you select that profile. The, the plane will be our starting point. I'll hit OK. And now I've created the base of my part. Make sure you continue to rename your features so that you know what you're working with. We're going to go into wireframe mode, and that way we can see the planes a little bit better inside of our part. So now my planes are visible. We're going to take one of the planes and orient it at an angle. So we'll look at turning the XY plane at 30 and creating a new plane from there. So in the 3D model, we have plane. And we're going to create a new work plane. It asks us where we'd like to set this work plane. And if you notice at the bottom, it says define work plane by highlighting and selecting geometry. We're going to first select the XY plane. And then we're also going to select the Y axis. And now it allows us to pivot on that Y axis. And let's enter 30 degrees from here. Notice that the plane pivots on the center and we have the ability to now create this extra work plane. 
If you look at our browser, our work plane is now visible. I'm going to rename this uh, as an offset 30 degree plane. And that way I can reference this plane uh, and know exactly which one I'm talking about. Now we can create a 2D sketch on this plane. So in order to do that, click 2D sketch. And I've already selected this plane. So if I go to my 3D view, I'm now drawing on this 30 degree angled plane. In order to come back to that exact angle, you can just look at. We're going to look at the origin axis and when we go to the sketch mode, we can roll over to the view tab and where it says object visibility, we're going to turn off origin access. And that'll allow us not to complicate some of our geometry. We're going to project some of this and that way we can reference some of the, the lines that already exist in our drawing. Go back to the sketch tab and we'll click project geometry and we want to project this entire back line here so we can turn our geometry this way and click that and that should project right onto our geometry now we can start drawing our part so there's my projected line through here and to make it easier i could just turn visibility of my base off but I'm gonna leave it on so that I can see where my part is sometimes it might be easier to draw your sketch on a angled plane or not but I'm gonna draw it on this straight face right here and I'm gonna to snap to that line that we've created now I'm gonna draw my shape just roughly from that projected line And I'll be careful to let Inventor help me out with lining up some of my geometries. I'll start dimensioning my part. And just be careful. Take your time as you work through. Now we can see our part is uh, fully mentioned and constrained. And I'm just going to make sure I connect the bottom of the whole profile. We'll use a center point arc to make the top curve. In order to place the arc, we're going to need to trim this top line. So you can click the line and hit delete. Now you can place your center point arc. Make sure that it's 0.75. And then we're going to create a three quarter inch circle in the middle as well. That should complete the geometry for this sketch. Fairly tricky sketch. Now we can extrude. And we're going to symmetrically extrude this one inch. And make sure you select the pieces that you're looking for and you can rotate your part to make sure it looks centered 
on that base. When everything looks aligned, hit the check mark and OK. I'm going to change my visibility back to shaded with edges. And I will turn visibility off for my planes. You can see the basis for this part. I'll rename my extrusion. We're going to create an offset plane. And once you select offset plane from work features, select this top face and we'll move up three quarters of an inch. That should put us right in the center of that hole and we'll hit check. That allows us to start drawing on this face. And we're gonna put a hole through the top of this feature. That's a quarter inch in diameter. So I will click this, make sure I look at it. And I'm going to start a 2D sketch. If I don't like seeing this part here, again, just change to wireframe. I know that everything is centered on my origin, so this should make it relatively easy to draw a quarter inch circle. I will extrude this sketch all the way through my part and make sure it cuts through the top. I'll cut and I'll say through all. And if it's going in the wrong direction, you should be able to just flip the direction. And now I'll hit OK. Go back to my view, visual style. I'll do shaded. And you can see the part is now complete. I'll rename this offset work plane. And I will rename this as set screw hole. And you can right click, turn off visibility, and this part is now complete. Don't forget to save.